Romelu Lukaku to Manchester United. It kind of surprised everybody when the news broke on Thursday that Man United had agreed a £75 million fee with Everton for the Belgian striker. But then as the day went on, reports started to get a little bit confusing. Some were suggesting a fee hadn't been agreed and that a deal wasn't in place. So what we're going to do for you today is run through the full story of Romelu Lukaku to Manchester United, dating right back to 2015, coming full circle to 2017 and explaining exactly how the situation has developed. So as I said, back in 2015, Memphis Depay was on holiday with Romelu Lukaku and everybody started talking about the concept of Lukaku coming to Man United. In that same year, he was on holiday with Paul Pogba. That was, of course, before Pogba actually had rejoined Manchester United. But the murmurs and the rumours had always been established from 2015. Of course, nothing happened at that point, but that's where they started. Now, it was in March 2016 when Lukaku started to sort of show indications that he was ready to move on from Everton to a bigger club. On the 27th of March, he made it clear that he wanted to play in the Champions League next season. He said, that is the next step for me. I'm 23 next summer and I think it would be nice to play in the Champions League from next season. And then only a day later, Romelu Lukaku's father bigged up potential moves to Manchester United and Bayern Munich, saying that that's the sort of level that Lukaku is ready for. So Lukaku's always had that sort of voice in his ear from his father, mentioning Man United back in 2016. And then on the 29th of March, Lukaku made it clear that he would be happy to work underneath Jose Mourinho again. Mourinho was the manager to sell Lukaku to Everton in the first place, so there were concerns over whether he would ever want to work under the Portuguese manager again, but he made it very clear that would be something he would be happy to do. When asked if he'd be up for a Mourinho reunion, Lukaku said, of course. Some people will say that I need to convince him, but it's not a question of that. Three years ago, I was 20, and I wasn't ready to be an immediately effective in a top team. Several good seasons, including the current one, have changed that situation. I'll be 23 in May, and I could leave this summer. Then there was very heavy speculation all summer long linking Lukaku with a long list of clubs, including Manchester United, but he stayed at Everton and nothing happened during that summer. And then the rumours resurfaced in October 2017 when the report suggesting that Jose Mourinho had sent scouts to watch Seamus Coleman and Romelu Lukaku in action for Everton. And this concept of Lukaku rejoining Mourinho, it started again. Then, between October and March, Lukaku had a cracking season for Everton, but he wasn't really linked too much. It was all paper guff and speculation. And then came 13th of March 2017, when reports suggested that Lukaku was prepared to turn down an Everton contract because they were demanding that he included a 90 million release clause inside that contract, not something that Lukaku wanted. And this is when the rumours really started in earnest, because it was clear that Romelu Lukaku wanted to leave Everton. Then on the 23rd of April 2017, this was a sort of strange one. Ronald Koeman, manager of Everton, he publicly said that Lukaku should not be joining Manchester United. He said we wouldn't finish in the top four. Correct, we won the Europa League, so we win the Champions League next year. He was having a go at our playing style and saying that Lukaku wouldn't achieve his Champions League dream with Manchester United. Now, as I said, it's a strange one because it's interesting for a manager to publicly take that stance. Sort of indicative of Coleman being worried about Man United chasing Lukaku. And of course he could achieve the Champions League dream at Man United. We're back in the Champions League this year. Everton aren't in it. And there's some way off getting into that top four. So he's definitely not going to get it at Everton. Then on the 13th of May 2017, reports came out that suggested that Romelu Lukaku was Manchester United's primary target in the summer. Lukaku is definitely on Mourinho's radar. Then on the 31st of May 2017, Mino Raiola pipes up and of course he bigs up a potential move away. He said Lukaku had a promise that if certain clubs came this summer he could leave. We are not in concrete talks with anybody at the moment, but here in the market I think some clubs will contact Everton. If the price is right for Everton and the project is right for Lukaku, then I think he will want to make another step, but we are not there yet. Now Mino Raiola, we all know who he is. Agent of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, agent of Paul Pogba, agent of Henrik Mkhitaryan and Sergio Romero. He creeps up later on, just like he always does. The slimy bastard. Very good at his job, no one particularly likes him, but he's very good at getting the most for himself and his players. And he's starting to play that game with Everton now. 
Then on the 6th of June 2017, Lukaku makes it clear to Everton that he cannot stay at the club without Champions League football. He wants to play in the Champions League next year. So had Manchester United not beaten Ajax in that final, I don't even think we'd be entertaining the concept of Lukaku coming to Man United because I don't think he'd come. Champions League was his big step in his career and that's what he's hopefully going to achieve by coming to Old Trafford. Now remember through these early stages of the summer transfer window, it was always Romelu Lukaku to Chelsea. It was effectively considered a done deal. That's how certain journalists and fans were that Lukaku would be returning to Chelsea. Then Man United came in because cracks started to appear. On the 4th of July 2017, BBC Sports presenter Richard Ascombe said that Lukaku's camp preferred a move to Manchester United over Chelsea. And then on the evening of the 5th of July, we're talking around 10.30pm when the newspapers released their following day's stories. Matt Lawton from the Daily Mail, he broke the story that Man United was set to hijack Chelsea's £100 million move for Romelu Lukaku. And the back of the mirror were also suggesting that Wayne Rooney was going to be used as a make-weight in this deal. This is when the story exploded and the next 24 hours, a lot happens. Now on the morning of the 6th of July at around about 10 a.m. Manchester Evening News, they come out and say that Man United are prioritising a move for Romelu Lukaku over Alvaro Morata. And this is at the same time that Marco out in Spain, they're suggesting that Morata is hours away from a move to Manchester United. And the BBC's Simon Stone, he follows up on the Manchester Evening News, corroborates that story, saying that Lukaku is on Manchester United's radar. And then half an hour later, the story exploded. The BBC reported that Manchester United had agreed a £75 million fee for Romelu Lukaku. Sky Sports were reporting it. BBC were reporting it. Telegraph, Guardian, Manchester Evening News. Even Craig Norwood got involved. And when Craig Norwood gets involved, it's a done deal. He's not been wrong so far. And let's see, it's hopefully he's not wrong about Lukaku this time. But this is when it all kicked off. But only an hour later, Sky Sports then reported from Everton's camp that a fee hadn't been agreed. And we're getting two lines of communication, one coming out of Manchester United saying that a fee had been agreed and one coming out of Everton suggesting that a fee hadn't been agreed. And fans were starting to get concerned and confused as about what was going on. And then at 12 p.m., a very important point in this Lukaku story, Paul Joyce of The Times, considered a very strong journalist when it comes to Liverpool and Everton news. This is what he had to say about the transfer. He reported that Romelu Lukaku was expected to become a Manchester United player, even if Everton's camp were denying it. He was saying that he was allowed to stay out in LA by the club's permission to help complete a medical examination ahead of being announced as a Manchester United player before Sunday. He was suggesting that the contract terms has already been agreed, £200,000 a week, and that the initial fee would be £75 million, but that would rise according to add-ons and bonuses. Now, this is the first time we've had a suggestion of a medical for Lukaku, but as we can see in the coming hours, it is not the final suggestion of that. Then, only a few hours later at 4pm, The Guardian are suggesting that Chelsea could potentially come back over the top with a bigger bid for Lukaku to then push Manchester United out of the way and get the man they've always wanted to. And this is exactly what Everton want. And this is exactly why Everton's camp are feeding to the press that a fee had not been agreed. They want a bidding war. They want Manchester United and Chelsea to be going loggerheads for Lukaku, to get the most out of the player that they are selling. That is exactly why Everton are doing that and leaking this to the press. Then only half an hour later, Matt Lawton, who of course broke the original story the night before, he comes back in and saying, senior United officials are adamant that this deal is done, no matter what's happening with the two clubs briefing different things to the press. Then at 6.45, the independence Miguel Delaney, he wades in on the situation and says exactly as before, Everton are expecting Chelsea to aggressively challenge Manchester United for Romelu Lukaku. And this is definitely coming from the Everton camp. They want that bidding war. Even if it doesn't exist, they still want it to exist. Then at 10pm in the evening, Neil Custis from The Sun, he comes out and says that Lukaku is having his medical in LA ahead of the announcement. And this is backed up by The Guardian's Ed Ahrens and Jamie Jackson. And as I said, we've had Paul Joyce mentioning the medical earlier during the day. And now we've got Neil Custis, Ed Ahrens and Jamie Jackson all supporting the same story. But what are the papers saying in the evening? Now the Mirror, following the same story, they're saying that Lukaku's going to have his medical in LA and he's with Pogba 
who's already out there as well on holiday. Now, the Telegraph's Matt Law, he's saying that Mino Raiola was extremely influential in Romelu Lukaku coming to Manchester United because he was the one to influence him and make it clear to Lukaku how much of a good idea it would be to join Man United. So Raiola FC has got another one player at United because of him. And the Suns, Neil Custis, as I've said there, but here's the back page. He is saying that Lukaku is going to have his medical out in LA. And the Guardian report that Man United expect to seal the Romelu Lukaku deal. So as you can see, it's been a very confusing day. There's been so many minor updates the whole way through. It's been very, very hard to keep on top of. But I hope this full story has helped giving you a full grasp of exactly what happened between Manchester United, Everton, Chelsea and Romelu Lukaku. And if that doesn't get you excited enough, Lukaku has been training out in LA with Paul Pogba. Now, of course, they've been on holiday together for the last couple of years, so that's not too exciting. But in the current context and the current climate of this Lukaku and £75 million deal, to see him training alongside Paul Pogba, that is sure to get United fans excited. But that is it for the full story on Romelu Lukaku to Man United. I hope it helps you understand exactly what's gone on. If you like it, please drop a like on the video as always and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.